What is up everyone and welcome back to more Devil May Cry 5. In the last episode we had a blast from the past with Cerberus being one of the bosses. I kicked his butt but he did kill me once so I had to use a gold orb. Unfortunate, but it happens. All right, King Cerberus. The power of King Cerberus dwells within this shape-shifting weapon, charging attacks with ice, fire, and lightning in each form. This weapon has three unique modes, twirl, freezing, nunchaku with triangle, and in Swordmaster style, wield a blazing rod with circle or hold and release circle to unleash an electrifying three-section staff. More things for my tiny little brain to try and comprehend and fail miserably, I'm sure. I swear I don't button mash. I, I promise I don't button mash. <laughs> Only in Street Fighter. You guys know this, okay? I entered a Street Fighter tournament once. It was a bad idea. Button mashers don't win, okay? The truth is, I wanted to be protected and loved, but I was alone. <laughs> My only choice was to survive. V, you gotta rest. Miro. And I will tell you... everything. There is no demon named Yurizen. What? Only a man who threw away his humanity in an endless pursuit of power. Is Dante's older brother? Dante's brother? Yes. And his real name is Virgil. Virgil. Shut up, PlayStation. God's sake. But Dante doesn't know this, and I don't know why V wouldn't tell him. It's kind of shady of him, is it not? So I wonder where the name Urizen came from then. It's a very specific name. Okay. So that's just got every single weapon now. And now I have to level up this weapon as well. Spin violently in midair before crashing into the enemy. Oh, that's freaking cool. Revolver 2, an improved version of that one, okay. Crystal. Press R1 and back. Ah, oh, there's one called Ice Age. Ice Age being one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh, that brings back so many memories. I remember watching that. Oh my god, the beginning with Scrat when he's screaming. I remember being a kid and I, I nearly wet myself laughing. Ah, oh, those were the days. <laughs> Love that movie. Oh, I found you. Brother. Virgil. Wait, he did know? He knew? He hey, did new. Is that the damn fruit you've been jabbering about? It doesn't look so special to me. Yep. This is where it all started. <laughs> that day mother saved me and left you behind. The thing you don't know is she tried to save you too. She kept searching and searching. Until I killed her. I have no recollection of this tale. Or this place. It's all an illusion. Created. By this extraordinary fruit. Its power, you see. Is all I ever wanted. And with this. No. I will have everything! No, oh, think of the citrus! Oh, At least he eats healthily, right? Hmm. 
No, brother. You don't have everything. That last shred of humanity that you still had? <laughs> you just lost it. Ah! That is nothing but the pitiful cries of those without strength. Come to me, brother. Ah, oh, multiple eyes! I shall enlighten you. Dante! Ah! He's got a mouth on his groin! Hold on. Um, there we go. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I knew I didn't like that. Bro, you got tall. Can't kick what you can't see! Keep the fuck still. Oh! Double kick, bitch. Oh no. Oh lord. Crazy! Bro, don't do it. Enough. I wish I had more devil trigger.
Just finishing up. Is that really your brother? I'm afraid so. So he was behind all this. Your own flesh and blood. Right again. In the last throes of defeat, I see. Oh, 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 you. V, get back. Things are about to get really messy. No. Please. Let me. I want to end this battle with my own hands. something in the Omega. I want to be... What do I want to be? I don't know, but I want a cool, cool name like that. Alright, mission 17 is done, but... 
We got time to move on to the next one. Oh, so they're back together? I'm so confused by this story. Virgil was restored. So I guess Dante should have probably killed V and then just left Uritsen to uh, to die and then everything would have been fine. But technically he, like, would he not want his brother to come back? Oof, actually, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to a certain boss that took me six hours. I don't want this. I, I don't want this. You got some pretty big cojones for coming back. Just don't know when to give up! Get out of my way, Nero! Nero wasn't in your way. He was standing next to you. Defeating you like this has no meaning. Come on, Virgil. Let's do this. Heal your wounds, Dante. Get strong. After that, we'll settle the matter. <laughs> got played like a damn fiddle. Ugh. Damn it. If that's your brother, what happened to V? He returned to himself. Go home, Nero. This doesn't concern you. Like hell. I lost my right arm because of him! This is not your fight. I need to stop him, and that's all that matters. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun, Dante. You don't get it. Uh, let me guess. I'm dead weight? Well, you can that's shove not it. Nero. What is it then? He's your father! <gasps> what? What? This is fucking EastEnders! <laughs> I had the feeling the first time I saw you, but I just wasn't sure. And then I saw how the Yamato reacted. And I was certain. He's your father. Now he needs an ass kicking. But I can't have you go kill your old man. Excuse me. My father. Excuse me? Excuse me? I always wondered how Nero fit into the equation because like since the fourth game I, I have I've always just wondered like Nero just kind of appeared but who's his mother then? Who did Virgil bang? I thought he was like down in hell or something now he's like banging someone in hell? That day, if our positions were switched, would our fates be different? Would I have your life and you mine? Let's settle this. Dante. get it though I feel like at the end of three Dante and Virgil were like I don't know there were so many points when I thought that Virgil was maybe what? gonna be good what's happening now oh god I thought it was over this isn't good we're gonna get dragged into this Dante what 
What happened? My dumbass brother's back, and I'm gonna rip him a new one. Virgil's... how? Dante! Made it for Lady, and she paid for it, so consider it a rental. Hey, you can't just... Okay, okay, we'll take care of that later. Right now, you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go take care of old douchebag. <laughs> Got a feeling this one's gonna be a doozy. Gonna be a doozy! Jackpot! <laughs> Alright, so you guys told me that I could have had this gun a lot earlier on. The fact that it's giving me this now shows that it's obviously going to work against Virgil. So Virgil is back. Ah, oh, that's mental! This twist is killing me! Like, I feel like I've got something in my eyeball, but I feel like V, he just had us, like, from day one, you know? I mean, he obviously knew he was Virgil, but... I mean, come on! High explosive. While on the ground, hold square. Oh, that's cool. That's it. That's all I can do. Um, right, let's save the rest for just now. I can't do this again! Oh, man. Devil May Cry 3 killed me. I actually thought I was never going to complete that game because of having to fight Virgil. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to finish it. So now I'm scared. Oh. Oh. I haven't really struggled on this game so far, but 3 was the same. All right, Virgil, I'm coming. Can't we just like have a Starbucks? I'll get you a frappuccino. I guess you'd come back. Damn it, V. Was this your plan all along? Yeah, obviously it was. I fucking love this woman. Ah, uh, so good, so good. Hey guys, where you been? I thought you went back into Virgil. <laughs> You're gonna wish you did. Oh, the wise guy Dante. Oh no. You were spawned from Virgil's abominable thoughts. But you knew how he. Come to think of it, I did know something was off. Just like with my old brother. Well, we're merely the discarded thoughts from when he was Neo Angelo. No longer bound in his consciousness. We're here now to kill you of our own free will. Liberating! And kill you we shall, Dante. Us, not Virgil. Fuck! I like these guys! Shut up, Griffin. I am facing you like a man! Have a rocket launcher in the face, you bitch! Is it doing it one at a time? Keep still, you bitch. on me so he wasn't even real per se well, I guess he was oh oh yuck oh nothing behind this one that's cool though so I'm obviously gonna have to take out all three of them in this mission I just think shadow might be the hardest one is it shadow 
Or am I thinking of Nightmare? Nightmare is the bigger one. All right, I'm ready for the rematch. Whoa! Hey, Shadow. Can't fucking see. You. Fucking tail whip. actually because I feel like you learn to you don't learn to love them but like you grow to love them and then suddenly you're having to fight them I mean look at him he's adorable he's a pooch he's not a pooch oh yeah you better run running away nah didn't think so but he is though he's running Hello, friend. Definitely do be getting some of my my HP back. What? So, what do you guys think about the difficulty of this game? I feel like it's actually not too bad. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. So, Nightmare is going to be next. Yeah, I don't feel like it's nearly as, hello, difficult as previous games. Definitely more about the story in this one. But the story is freaking epic, by the way. Oops, that doesn't sound good. Where was that? Ah! I just fall down. That's where I just was, unless I go down. Excuse me, sir! Like, can I get over here? <laughs> Doink. Uh, that's really weird. Doink. Okay, I'm now. I'm being stupid. What just changed? I gotta kill these guys. This looks like a boss. What? Oh, you got all your HP back. Cheating. Ah. 
Excuse me, birdie. Not a bad line. Feel the same way. Back of Malay Island. So we are getting close to mission 19. Now mission 19 in most of the Devil May Cry games is always a boss rush. So I'll be very, very, I'll be very curious to see if they're gonna throw a boss rush into this game. Don't tell me in the comment section. I don't wanna know, but there's always a boss rush in a Devil May Cry game. I'm not the biggest fan of them, to be honest. But they are always there. They know they don't stand a chance. Are they trying to atone for something? Do you know what I think, Dante? I'm a genius. I think they're trying to lure us somewhere so that we make mistakes. That's what I think. So, they're just trying to get us to go somewhere to follow them so that we can kill them when in actual fact they're just luring us into a false sense of security. And I've been pretty good at, you know, finding things out in this game. That was V's stick. We used to be friends. Oh, all three!
piece of shit. That was epic. That was so good. But I don't want them to actually die. Oh, oh I like these guys. Oh, I have mixed Should've feelings. Known better. You got a good heart, but you're about as sharp as a marble. Perhaps. But if you had even a little bit of trouble defeating us, imagine what Virgil can do to you. <laughs> Go see for yourself. Us. This is our final flight, and the end of Virgil's nightmares. Godspeed, Dante. You'll need it. Rest in peace, little chicken. It's been a bash. Aww, I'm emotional! Griffin! Griffin grew on me! And I just had to kill him! This game is horrible. Like, that's horrible. I can't even deal. 
What an episode this has been, guys. What an episode. Did I get a D? Oh my god. Oh no, I got a C. Well, that's fine. I can deal with a C. He is a man on a mission. So this is nuts. That is his father. <sighs> I need a minute. I need a minute. I'm in shock still. All right. This has been mission 18. I have to wonder if mission 19 will be the typical boss rush, but I guess we will find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.